Hey YouTube, miniature painters, war gamers, and valued subscribers alike. Thanks for tuning in today. Um, as you may have guessed by this growing list of videos over here, that uh, I like to talk about doing how to do some some of the stuff in this hobby on the cheap. Uh, one thing that a lot of people find when they get into war gaming or miniature painting, at least as a hobby to start is there is a bit of a somewhat an overwhelming cost uh, your miniatures cost you know upwards of forty dollars for this dwarf grudge Thor uh, each color can cost you up to four dollars a pot for a seemingly insignificant amount of paint your brushes can be anywhere from couple dollars to twenty dollars a brush uh, depending on what you get uh, then there's a whole manner of other things that you use to finish it off like your clear coats um, and then just stuff to for at the added touch like the sand for basing flock and all sorts of things today what I'm going to talk about is stuff that grows that you can get for free um, all you have to do is step outside your door depending on where you live of course and you may be able to find everything you need to base your miniatures make some terrain for nothing just your time outside down the street uh, sycamore tree I think sycamore or sycamore tree I'm not sure uh, some bark birch will work as well I'm planning on making a uh, uh, tavern and for the shingled roof I plan on just taking this, breaking off little strips, and making the little shakes out of it. You know, you got little little pieces. I don't know if you can see see them here, but just little pieces of shingle from this piece of bark. Um, you know, spent well two minutes, picked a pile of it. This will be enough to make plenty of roofs. Uh, so out to the flower garden poppy seed pods or from poppies uh, I don't know maybe a lot of the stuff is seemingly only good maybe in fantasy or or chaos based uh, scenery and train and stuff but uh, you can I think this could you paint it up can become kind of an interesting alien tree or something plant form um, stick from some grapes from a cluster of grapes grapes removed obviously but uh, doesn't look like much now but I don't know how well you can see this but I made this piece of train uh, just a stone wall a stone wall ruin and uh, this is a, a grape grape twig with where I put the glue on the end and just dipped it in some orange and red flock and made an autumn tree uh, for a piece of train. You know, all manners of trees have types of moss. Here's some, you know, kind of wispy green moss. You can use that for finishing up some stuff. Uh, some coarse green moss. Wispy black moss. Piece of that coarse green moss on a piece of bark. Don't know how well you can see that, but that can go maybe directly on a piece of on a base and have something stepping on it uh, important thing is that uh, anything that you get from outside that was alive at one point has been completely dried and the important thing is that you dry it slowly um, here's a case in point this sphagnum peat moss just picked this out of my lawn uh, got it about two years ago I think you know I can scrunch it up not a lot falls off and it doesn't fall apart It's because I dried it very slowly it's still it's very soft and retains its its bond it doesn't crumble and fall apart but it is this is several years dead but it has retained its vibrant green color and it holds its form once you put a clear coat on it and it 
becomes rock hard. You've got a nice piece of uh, bush or something to put on on a base of a mini or or a piece of train. Um, you don't have to spend a lot of money on on doing your stuff because you know what? If you save money on 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 your basing and other stuff, I mean you can buy more grudge throwers or Space Marine drop pods because you've saved a few bucks here and there. I you know I want to be able to spend more money on Games Workshop products and Reaper products. But if I spend buy all the stuff that I can find if I bought uh, you know everything in a you know a nice little tub of static static grass, you know this is great but if I bought all of Games Workshop's basing stuff, I wouldn't have as much money for minis. This way it saves me some money. Plus, I also have my son's minis to pay for. So, I got I got two two uh, two armies or so to pay for. So, saving money is definitely important for me. But, hopefully this has been somewhat informative for you. And it gives you some ideas on how to save some money. And, uh, you know, or maybe let makes you feel that you know what you can get into this hobby and not break the bank because overall it isn't a very expensive hobby when all things are considered because the amount of time you spend painting and the enjoyment you get out of it far exceeds the the cost anyways that's all i have for today and next time i'll talk about some other stuff that you can do and find for free and do for cheap have a good day, happy painting and wargaming. Talk to you later.